What are you looking at? I'm looking at you, Rhea. Is there a problem? You tell me. What do you want? I want you to show me how to harness brutality in the ring. You? <laughs> you don't understand what you're talking about. I had some pretty wild matches before coming to WWE. I know more about it than you think. Brutality is about more than just being powerful and fierce in the ring. It's making people fear you and what you're doing next. It's being unexpected. It's bringing the chaos without restraint. That. I want to do that. I want you to show me how to harness brutality. What, do I have a sign that says free lessons or something? I can't help you. You can help yourself though, provided you're not too weak. I'm certainly not too weak. Then cause some chaos and do it somewhere unexpected. Hmm, maybe a different brand then. Sure, show up unannounced and decimate some opponents just for the hell of it. That's a pretty solid calling card, but I'm not going to hold your hand. Who are you going to actually take out? Feeling like Chelsea Green and Zelina Vega could use some chaos. Just don't play nice when you get there. Kind of defeats the purpose. decided to insert herself into this match, but the WWE Universe is excited to see her. It certainly makes the match more interesting. Well, this move is somewhat unexpected from the cap. We'll have to see if it's a one-time thing or a sign of a new attitude. Taking it to the floor, what's she gonna do? Snap, man, right. She heads into the ring. A reversal, great move. She needs to get out of here in a hurry. is the target. Boom. She's getting something from under the ring. Settling on the kendo stick. No good can come from this. Uh-oh. This is not going to be pretty. Leg breaker. Oh, my goodness. Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. This is turning into Swanson Street. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. And she dodged that one nicely. She's forced onto the defensive now. Oh boy, she's got her chocolate. Business just picked up. That might have been a tad premature. Returning to the ring now. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. It's incredible the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. And that could have 
assure you that wasn't part of Zelina's usual cold and calculating strategy. Yeah, Chelsea looked confident going on the attack. Nice Japanese arm drag. Bottom uppercut. That'll cost some teeth. Saw that one coming. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. Oh, yes. What a suplex. Chelsea had that well scouted. Oh, the elbow connects. She goes back inside the ropes. Waist lock. No, no. Belly to belly. My goodness. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Monster set up in the corner. Lands an elbow. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. And it looks like she has swift justice in mind. Going for the kendo stick like that. Oh, kendo stick right to the head. Saw it coming. Just one right after the other can't be stopped. Back into the ring. Thinking about the rolling oh, pin, watch this. Oh, wow, hook of the leg, shoulders down. And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. Just breaking down the opponent. And she had Zelina's number there. Has it hooked in and... Oh my God, a small package driver. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Oh, man, inverted. Got the arm. Disarmor. It's got She breaks the hold. Oh, float over Russian leg sweep. She got the shoulders down. We still don't know why the captain decided to insert herself into this match, but the WWE Universe is excited to see her. It certainly makes the match more interesting. Well, this move is somewhat unexpected from the captain. We'll have to see if it's a one-time thing or a sign of a new attitude. Oh, God, that hurt. She's got big plans. She's in the ring now. Referee in position. Gets the shoulder up. Premature to try to end things now. A oh, kendo stick right there on their head. And the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. A steel chair. She's taking this match into even more dangerous territory. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Bringing a steel chair into play here. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, on table. None of these things are fun to collide with. Oh, and a rolling neck snap. Stomping down. Quick return to the ring. Kendo stick impact. Oh, man. Ooh, got clipped by the thrown kendo stick. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. Oh, arm drag. Hooked up. Great power. Inverted suplex. She's beginning to flag a little. Boom, what impact. Boom, oh, what an uppercut. Jarring. Oh, my God. Standing drop kick. Great ups. She responds with a counter. Tossed into the corner. Ooh, the forearm connects. Chelsea just can't stop this attack. Chelsea needs to find a way to reverse her fortunes. Look at this. Boom, nice. All right, she's back in, ready to go. Oh, wow. Just caught flush. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. Skull first. Counters 
right back on Chelsea. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes. What a suplex. Knees meet face. Oh, right to the leg. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. She's taking a beating here. It's expected, Cole. In a triple threat match, the target on your back is twice the size. Small package driver. Is it enough? The cover. Two. Digging deep for a kick out. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. The submission is locked in. Tap deep. out coming. It's tap over. out coming. Getting back into the ring. Right. Tap, no. <laughs> Elevated. Chelsea Green laying down the gauntlet for their opponent. Elbow drop. To the lower back. Block the arm drag, rolls through, pin in combination. On the ropes, referee breaks the count. From behind. She's got the chakra, the deadliest weapon in Latino culture. Got the arm, disarmer, it's got to be over. Ah, submission locked in, nowhere to, she breaks the hold. Running clothesline. Springboard misses the target. Trap the arm, and the neck breaker. Drop toe hold for the win. Somehow breaks the count immediately. How does anyone have this much in them at this point? Connecting with a sharp elbow. That offense taking a toll on her. Chelsea's decision making certainly looked effective there. And back into the ring she goes. She sent flying into the corner. Nice roll through into the pin. Great combination. And sneaks out a win there. Incredible. Quite the impressive victory coming out on top against two very capable, very prepared competitors. And if you ask that superstar right there, she simply wanted it more than the other two tonight. I don't know how true that is, but she certainly made a statement. Okay, so you can at least pretend to have what it takes. Although maybe it was a one-off. It wasn't a one-off. I'm not pretending. Why are you here? I like watching people flounder. It's fun. And I'm not convinced. Who hurt you anyway? 
What? No, seriously. Who hurt you? Chaos is one thing, but my brutality has a message. Every time I step into the ring, I'm making a statement to the world that there are no limits to what I'll do to get what I want. So next time you step in the ring, consider what you're fighting for. What makes you angry enough to go all the way? Everyone else be damned. And who you're going after to make your point. Who I'm going after? For instance, do you want to challenge the toughest of the tough or pick someone who may be very talented but is also more innocent? That's what I'm talking about. Targeted brutality. I'm making a statement. I can out-brutalize the most vicious opponents. I'm demanding a match with Shayna Baszler. Demanding. I like it. And work on your gear. If you're going to be associated with me, you'd better look the part. So we're associated now? Shut up. Bringing indie cred and attitude to the WWE ring. It's Cap! The Punk. The Queen of Spades about to grace the WWE Universe with true submission expertise. From Super Bowl. The captain has been a force to be reckoned with as of late. I like it, Cole. She's mean, she's focused, and she doesn't care who's in her way. Well, she should care. She's across the ring from one of the baddest competitors in the WWE. Oh, goodness, that looked bad. Oh, my goodness. And this one might be headed ringside. Off the barricade. Setting up. Oh, vicious Russian leg sweep. Right into the barricade. She's getting herself in the zone, but she shouldn't hesitate much longer. Oh. She re enters the ring now. She's fighting back. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Boom! Great counter by Baszler. And she had Baszler scouted. Boom! Man, a drop kick. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Oh, stomping away. Shayna Baszler's defense is being whittled down. Though I don't see Shayna struggling much longer. Oh, what a plex. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Oh, saw it coming. Shayna there keeping that stream of offense in check. Oof. She is not abused in the slightest. Elbow drop driven down. Down on the jaw. And bite your tongue with that. Made her pay for her mistake. And Baszler had it scouted. Ooh, 
refusing to let her get into her head. And now she's setting the pace of this match. Her offense is on point right now. That offense really hitting her hard. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Stops the incoming attack with a knee to the face. Oh, ouch! Quick exchange of counters there. Yeah, but she needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Oh, package driver. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? What a counter against Shayna. Somehow she has Paige the right where she wants her. Oh, nice takedown. They're going to lock it in. LaBelle locked. Oh, LaBelle lock is in. Oh, I'm going to tap out here, but it ain't going to matter. You still do a lot of damage, though. Perhaps thinking something else here. Not sure why, though, Michael. She seemed to have it really cinched in. And now thrown back into the ring. Going for the pin on Shano. Wait, what's she doing? Looks like Cap decided she still had a point to make in this match. To the corner now. This is brutal. I guess that was the three count she really wanted. I know we've been seeing a different side of her lately, but I can't believe she would go this far. And she's not done yet. Seems like she's looking for a weapon. But she already had this match won. A steel chair? What's gotten into her? Hey, look out! A show of force for sure, but not like this. Is she having second thoughts, maybe? Looks like it. Nope, never mind. Well, this match is over, but not the way we expected. Shayna may be the winner, but she's not the one walking out of here. I have a feeling we'll be hearing more from her soon, Saxton. I hope so, because I don't get it. Lately, I've been doing some thinking about the pecking order around here, in the locker room, and in the precious WWE universe. It's no secret that I haven't been the model WWE superstar the past couple of weeks. I haven't smiled, posed for the fans, or put up with any of the nonsense the suits around here are trying to get us to do. No, because something's felt off. And earlier tonight, when I had Shayna Baszler in my hands and slammed her head again and again and again into that turnbuckle, when I heard the sound her body made when I let it drop limp on the mat before I grabbed the steel chair, I finally realized what's been making me so angry. Every time I go to the ring, I'm asked to put my body on the line and pledge allegiance to WWE management and a WWE machine that couldn't care less about me. To a board guided by profit and not people who ask everything of us and then discard us like used candy wrappers when we don't act like they're chimpanzees and obey their every passing whim. Like I said, I've been doing some thinking. And I'm not only done following blindly, I'm going to do everything in my power to tear apart the system by destroying every superstar on the roster who gets in my way.
That was some performance. You were right. And I meant what I said. The more I gave into my anger in the ring, the more I pushed away the excuses I was making for the people in charge around here. Sure. Whatever. I still don't believe you. Are you trying to get on my bad side? If you even have one. I'm just not terribly impressed. You may have chosen your opponents and found your anger, but so far, they've all been random. You know what they say. The best tasting livestock are the ones that you've named. I'm not taking this from you, Rhea. I don't care what you think. But you want to see brutality? Come with me to NXT. Because you know what? Despite what you say, you're here talking to me again. I think you want in. Whatever. We'll see how you do at NXT. athlete makes her WWE debut. The following contest is scheduled for Here's the captain accompanied to the ring by Rhea Ripley. And from New York, Prime is an all-American college athlete with lots of hype around her, but I don't think this is what she had in mind for her NXT debut. And facing Cap is one thing, but this is a Cap who's been showing a lot of edge lately. And now we know why. She's been hanging around Rhea Ripley. Good luck, Carly. You're gonna need it. Damn. Nice takedown. Big form. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. And now Carly Prime is getting beaten down. Can Carly recover from this adversity? Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. She'll take things into the ring. Big impact. And now Carly Prime is getting beaten down. Can Carly recover from this adversity? Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Not a whole lot you can do with a bum wing, guys. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Nice takedown. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Oh, take it down. out of the mat. She's starting to tire a little. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Oh, big oh. impact. These string of attacks are keeping her off her game. This is where her grit will be put to the test. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. She flips it back on her. Right between the shoulder blades into the pump handle. Backbreaker. Oh, just turn that around. Oh my God, a small package driver. Cover. Two. I'm still not sure. 
sure what she's doing here, but that was a decisive victory for the Cat. It looks like we're getting a repeat of her last match. This Raw superstar doesn't seem content with just a win. Neither does Rhea Ripley. Is this the start of a larger partnership between these two? Cap, what are you doing? I've been worried. You're a lot of things. But this isn't the Cap I know. People look up to you. Psycho Sally? These two women go way back before either of them arrived in WWE. I look up to you. It sounds like Sally's pleas might be falling on deaf ears. I don't know about that, Byron. I guess you were right, Michael. There's hope for Cap after all. Or not, Psycho Sally just ate a clothesline from her so-called friend. And she's not stopping there. What's she telling Rhea to do? Well, in Cap's direction, Rhea just introduced steel stairs into the ring. This is never good. I agree. It's taking things way too far. Is she going to slam the steps down on the Psycho Sally? No, oh, come on. Don't do it. This is too much. And down on the Sally's back. This is heinous. Someone get Psycho Sally some medical attention. And this is all some sort of joke to Rhea Ripley? And apparently a very funny one, Saxton. <laughs> Whoa, what just happened? I think we've determined the alpha of this relationship, Byron. Rhea stepping aside to let Cap call the shots? This is the beginning of something big here tonight. A new and brutal power dynamic, that's for sure. You're doing well for yourself, I see. Star locker room vibes. <laughs> the legend graces us with her presence. I like my decor to reflect my personality, which is abrupt and impatient. What do you want, Justine? I want to talk about Psycho Sally. What about her? She eating solid food yet? So hard, aren't you? She is. She's eating solid food, and she's back in the ring. Good. Good. So long as she stays out of my way. I'm sure she will. I can't imagine she wants to lay her eyes on you again. You hurt that girl. Not just physically. I wasn't... I had to show Rhea. It's a brutal world, and Sally had to learn that the hard way. The hard way, being the woman she trusted most in the world, beating her within an inch of her life on national television? Unless you're looking to learn a lesson in brutality yourself, get to the damn point. She's on NXT this week in her first televised match back. I thought you might appreciate the update. I can report back if you'd like to know how she's doing. Sally was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I regret nothing, but I don't wish her harm. Let me know if she's okay. Huh. There is a little of you left in there. 
Same person I've always been, Justine. Maybe. I'll let you know how Sally does. silence that and get her head on straight or else one of these days her opponent's gonna knock it right off getting dropped on your head like that is not something you want to be doing often <laughs> oh quite an effective counter placing them into the corner oh incredible impact right in the bread basket things taking a turn for her now yeah now it's about Thea maintaining some of this pressure wrenches the arm drop kick beautiful Shooting star press, incredible. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Canadian Destroyer. We've seen how damaging pile drivers can be, and that one looked particularly painful. Snap Merritt over. Goes down low with the drop kick. Great agility. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Incredible pressure being put on Thea. Hale has to turn this around and quick. A running Hurricane Rada. Right there. This is making me nervous. You gotta win at any cost. And now gets tossed into the ring. Ooh, stump to the back and make it twice. Ouch. She's starting to drag a little bit. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. That holds back Hale's attack. Knees up, got the knees up at the last second. One coming took advantage. <laughs> Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment oh, across the top rope. She is in a jam now. There's a shower on oh, me. Drop arm breaker. <laughs> no bench chop. Target acquired and destroyed. A striking blow. Things not going how she'd like. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. From the top. Elbow drop. The advantage in Thea Hale's corner now. Thea's doing a great job remaining engaged with the opposition. I'm happy she did. I don't want this match to end. with a standing moonsault. Catches the clothesline. Into a Spanish fly. Nasty kick to the face. This can't bode well. Standing Spanish fly. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Sally gets the win. Here is your winner, Psycho Sally. Thea Hale put away in this one. Thea Hale still has a lot to learn in this industry, and this loss proves it. I'm sure she'll take this loss as a learning opportunity.
Hey, Carly. How's it going? How's it going for you? Great win out there, but honestly, you didn't seem like yourself. Not very, you know, psycho. Honestly, psycho is looking a little aspirational these days. Right after I started training, I saw this match Cap had with La Suspira. This war. They climbed up and started fighting in the balcony. Cap catches her with a kick to the gut, looks out at the crowd, and she hits a freaking Canadian destroyer off the ledge like 15 feet down through a table. It was absolutely psycho. And it was all in the world I wanted to be. Aw, oh, that sounds insane and fun. And the kind of stuff you should be doing right now, Sally. Maybe, but I can't stop thinking about how the person who inspired me so hard took me out of action for weeks. You can't let what Cap did get in your head. <laughs> now she tells me. <laughs> Listen, we've both been kicked in the teeth by adventure recently. What do you say we turn it around and give a little back? What you have in mind? Psycho Sally, I just won a match by straight up cheating. Held my opponent's tights. One, two, three. And you know what? Tell me, tell me. It felt like taking back control from all the Caps and Rias of the world. Let's feel that way together. You want to like, be a tag team? Actually, I already jumped way out on a limb and got us booked in a match with JC Jane and Cora Jade. You booked me in a tag match without even asking me? You know what I call that? Ugh, a poor choice that crossed your personal boundaries? Freaking psycho! Let's go get crazy, Carly. Our tornado of thrills, a whirlwind of wrestling, Psycho Sally. The following contest is a tag. Prime for victory, prime for greatness. It's Carly Prime. JC Jane. Welcome to the generation of Jade. The generation of Jade has begun. I don't think they are brought together by a common enemy. Now we find out if that shared betrayal is enough to propel them to success in the ring. Both Carly and Psycho have looked a bit vulnerable as of late, so it's not surprising they're looking to pair up and get the targets off their backs. Unless they end up just putting two targets right next to each other. What a DDT! Mm, good night. Ridiculous standing shooting star! Agility like that? Easier said than done, gentlemen. Kick to the body. Running start and a corkscrew neck breaker. And JC has taken on a lot of offense now. Jane is really having trouble with her defense. Double stop! Looking bad for her here. Well, we knew going into this match that it would be physical, Michael, and I'm sure she will tag out when the time is right. Flipping pile driver spiked. And you don't just do something like that to win a match. You do that to inflict punishment. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Looking for something, anything under the ring. A steel chair? Something we all know can be a devastating weapon. What a response from Sally. And she makes. 
brings it to her partner. Tag. What's she looking for under the ring? And she's pulled out a steel chair. That could be an equalizer inside the ring. Piercing shot to the body. Disqualification. The old foreign object. Oh, they always say cheaters never win and. Wow, that was pretty psycho out there, Carly. I know, that felt freaking incredible! Did you hear the sound the chair made when it made contact? Wham! Do you think it was really necessary to hit anyone with a chair? Was it necessary for Cap and Rhea to do what they did to us? Easy, easy. I'm on your side. We were amazing together. We should, we should, we should get a tag title opportunity. Oh, I mean, that would be nice, but we've only had one match. That's why, that's why we need to attack Isla and Alba. Wait, what? Yeah, we attack the tag team champions. They're bound to give us a title shot. That always works. Sure, we could also ask. We should make a statement, just like Cap and Rhea did. We can show the whole NXT locker room, the whole WWE, that we are not going to be pushed around ever again. I mean, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go absolutely psycho on them. Maybe no chairs, though. I make no promises. Another successful tag team title defense for Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. Hold on, that's Carly Prime and Psycho Sally. And they're attacking the champions from behind. What's this all about? Carly and Sally are the new team on the block. Maybe they want to establish themselves by going after the champs. It's worked before. The diabolical entity of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn rose to infamy during their annihilation of NXT, which only intensified their desire to cause widespread agony and suffering. The devastation of their cryptic powers is realized when they combine their strength to isolate an opponent and destroy them with brutal double-team attacks. Going up against Fire and Dawn can lead to a treacherous outcome for opponents. Well, I have a feeling we're going to need a scorecard to keep track of all the action we're about to see in this one, guys. A ah, jumping stop to the gut. And did you hear the impact of that? Goodness gracious. Oh, man, that's like death by a thousand cuts. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Oh, that right there will rock you. And no countouts means she has the whole outside to play with. Oh boy, she found a kendo stick. This mask might just get hard to watch. Oh, gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you the hang tight. Let this play out. You better have an aptitude for pain because it just keeps coming. And it is clear the mission now is to destroy and incapacitate. And that was a well-executed attack. Valley is out of the way. Face first with a waist lock takedown. And well-timed maneuver there. Fry quick to counter. Bunk from the middle rope. 
She's into the ring again. Up to the body with the chair. Face first into the chair. Oh, my gosh. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. And you can tell there are cruel intentions in mind right now. Ooh, what a forearm club. What a cover. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Grabbing a kendo stick. Any connection with flesh would definitely leave a look. The close of this match is just ahead. I hope she's got a little something extra left in the tank. Otherwise, she's in trouble. She's surely revving up, but she better put the rubber on the road already. Running Hurricane Rana! Fantastic. She heads into the ring. Ooh, wallop by a huge club. Boom! A double knee face breaker. to the announce table now. Oh, uh, yeah, gonna clean it off here. This is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Put in a position now. Oh, man. Valley at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Mm -hmm. Oh, using the knee. She's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. I guarantee you that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. Boom! Nasty flipping center. Oh, look at this. I don't want to be part of these problems. Don't want to be part of this crowd. Oh, man. Watch out. They're coming towards the announce desk. What the hell are you doing, Byron? Heading back to the ring. Oh, what a More attacks up there could leave her severely impaired. And no one needs it. From the top. Now the fire with a swanton. We're trying to finish things now. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Hey, nice contact there. Able to reverse that one. Grabs a hold of Don. And that will do it. Not getting up from that one, so it's called. Yes, you heard? Damn right I did. What did I tell you? We beat Isla and Alba down an instant title match. Yep, worked out just like you said. And it felt so good. Cap and Rhea, they're really onto something. Brutality. Brutality is the way to success. It's like a shortcut. It is. It's a shortcut, Carly. An electric shortcut. I feel so powerful. No, no you don't. You feel like a bully. And that's not power. That's Cap and Rhea's kind of power. Uh, yeah? After what they did to us, isn't that what you want? Maybe at first I did, at least a little bit. Now that I've tried it, I realize it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit me, and it doesn't fit you. But we got a title opportunity. And we are gonna go out there and do crazy moves Alba and Isla have never seen in their lives and beat them in the middle of the ring. We will fight every bit of their fire with fire. We will go psycho. Hell yeah. But what we won't do is anything like Cap and Rhea, because they're not psycho. They're a pair of lunchroom bullies. That's not brutality. That's weakness lashing out. And we are not weak. No, we're freaking.
freaking not. So let's go win the. Our tornado of thrills, a whirlwind of wrestling, Psycho Sally. It's a must-watch fury with the up-and-coming Carly Prime. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, the team of Psycho Sally and Carly Prime. And their opponents, the team of Isla Dawn and Alba. The WWE Women's Tag Titles are up for grabs here tonight. This is sure to be a momentous match. You would expect this to be a colossal challenge to the reigning champions as they go head to head against a pair that is becoming the most brutal force in the business. But these two tag champions are here for a reason. I doubt they're gonna get rattled by Carly Prime and Psycho Sally's antics. It's more than just antics, Corey. These two challengers have shown they're fully capable of making just as much noise thoroughly as they do outside the rules. Outstanding shooting star press, incredible. A display of quickness, and you can bet that got the champ's attention. Leaping into the wheelbarrow, up and around, into the DDT. Ooh, agile movement. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. Wrenches the arm. Drop kick. Beautiful. Dawn's defenses being whittled down. Tough spot for Isla. <laughs> nice hip toss takedown. Oh, that was nice. Running swanton. Awesome. The champ taking their share of hits now. Yeah, that's Psycho Sally putting her in room acumen to good use. Oh, this, this may end it right here, right oh. now! Canadian Destroyer! There's a certain amount of anger you have to have towards your opponent to pile drive them like that. Working on the leg. And Sally is keeping the match at her pace. She's doing a good job staying attached to her opponent. Oh my goodness, that was even worse. Ridiculous standing shooting star. That kind of agility is something that just might get the champ shook. When the challenger can come at you from all angles, that makes for a very dangerous situation. What are we going to see here? A oh, corkscrew neck breaker. Dawn with a nice turnaround. Isla able to stop the blitz that was coming her way. That's possibly the trigger for Dawn to battle her way back into this. Ooh, look at her answering back. Standing shooting star press incredible. 
level. Sometimes you just got to show off and show out. Great counter. Oh, she hit the corner hard. Oh, solid form. And that stops whatever Dawn intended. Ooh. Oh, so athletic. Champ caught off guard by that. Oh, setting them up. There's the Canadian Destroyer. Wow. Able to dig deep and do some serious damage to the champ. The title isn't looking so secure right now. This is going to be stiff, vicious backdrop suplex. Ooh, what a nasty kick. And has the challenger pinned. Is this it? Quick kick out. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Oh, my kick to the face. Oh, my God. Psycho Sally crafting an attack. Standing Spanish Flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. Two. They got it, and they're the new Tag Team Champions. Here are your winners. And the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, the team of Psycho Sally and Carly. The winners celebrating together. Great chemistry tonight. Maybe a little hyperbolic, but these two performed like they're born to be a tag team. If they stay together, watch out. Hey, partner. How you feeling? Uh, like I just learned how to fly? Tag Team Champions? How's that for Psycho? Absolute madness. Ooh, that's not a bad team name. I was thinking Psycho Prime. Prime Psycho? Hmm. Possible. We'll workshop it. Ah, gold suits you, Sally. When we started down this road, you looked like you were about ready to call it a day. Now, you're on fire! Maybe I was. Cap messed me up, but she also taught me something. Brutality! No. Resilience. I'm more unbreakable than I thought. Hmm. We got the titles. We can go where we want. You're thinking Cap and Rhea. Mm-hmm. Me too. Thing is, I have this feeling those two are not in a long-term partnership. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy watching them tear each other apart. For now? For now.
You three had a good time last night. Crowd or no crowd, those two only have one speed. Pain. Still can't pretend I'm not a little jealous. Although, I did kind of like watching. Oh? I had to prove a point after their cosplay comment. But if you're into it... Point is... I reckon the four of us together would make for a formidable faction. Not four, but maybe three. Who are you thinking? Zoe's wasted no time making her mark in WWE. Why don't I try fighting with her this time, and you can watch and tell me what you think. Zoe? How do you think Shane is going to take it? Well, let's find out. And here they come!
used to seeing Cap and Rhea Ripley paired up, but tonight Zoe Stark fills out the other half of the team with Rhea acting as manager. Adding... Uh-oh. Dragon Slaper! Uh -huh. It's in! It's in tight! It's in deep! The Dragon Slaper! Uh, save just in a nick of time. So look at this, she is removing the turnbuckle pad now. And all eyes are on Chelsea now. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Suplex. Stomping. Driven down. Guevara doesn't seem as composed after that attack. She's reached a critical point in this match, Cole. It's up to her if she wants to play it safe or keep fighting. Deville is struggling to defend herself. Deville needs to be resourceful in this situation. Incredible dragon suplex. Piercing elbow drop. Oh, debilitating elbow drop. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. Into a chop block. Sonya managing to get some control back now. Yeah, Sonya getting some newly determined focus. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. A commanding rush of attacks on her here. Yeah, but she can't allow this surge to frustrate her. Belly to belly. My goodness. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Quick thinking pays off. It's time for her to take advantage of that misstep and take command. She adjusts it and reverses it. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Deville struggling to defend herself. Sonya keeps getting cut down. Got the tag. Got the tag. Drop kick all the way to the floor. Waist lock. No, no. Belly to belly. My goodness. Go behind. Into the German. Chelsea to the punch. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. A sound suplex. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Waist lock, no, no, belly to belly. My goodness. She's taking some big hits here. From behind. German suplex. Over and over again, getting beaten down with force. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker. Backbreaker. Retaliated with a head-turning clothesline. In off the tag. Big overhand. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Deville struggling to defend herself. Deville needs to be resourceful in this situation. Fired up her cut. Well caught some teeth. Got the arm. Disarmor. It's got to be over. What's going to happen? She's got an opportunity to turn this around. She just got to shift her body just a little bit to get out of this. I don't know, Cole. It looks big. And it's over. Big tag team win there. Here are your winners. Zoe Stark and Cole.
making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. The wrestling gods have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo. That went about as well as expected, at least for us. What do you think? Should we make this faction official? Not yet, and not with Zoe. Were you at the same match? Because the two of you sure did a number on those two sacrificial lambs. Trust me. You're the boss, so... Back to a duo or back to square one? Neither. I'll take care of it. It's time for our Tornado Tag, and this is the Storm. The following. <laughs> Damage control. Here comes trouble yeah. in the form of damage control. You're right about that. Apparently their tag victory last week wasn't impressive enough as Cap appears to have switched out Zoe Stark for Shayna Baszler. Cap and Rhea are building a revolving door of pain, which might be the worst kind of revolving door there is, Corey. Ah, look at this. The steel chair, never as innocent as it looks. Oh. Snapman take over. Good night. That was showing great awareness of positioning, placing yourself between the ref and your opponent, taking it to the shoulder. Ripley has her sights set on her opponent now. This is just brute power. What a German suplex. DDT. Referee in position. Places her right in the corner. Waistlock applied in the corner. Check out this power. Belly to belly, way overhead. Eye on the counter. Big knee to the midsection. She fights her way out. That's a free throw. 
She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost by count out. Oh, smash! Oh, man, meeting the barricade. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. I think it's about time to roll the dice, Cole. Indeed! Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Power slam. Good night. Big form. You have to question what kind of mental intent is behind a power bomb with that much force. Oh, man, right across the chest. Someone still has a bit of FOMO. I'd be happy to MO on this, Corey. One thing's for sure, if Shayna was expecting backup from her newly formed faction, she's not getting it. The Caps letting her teammates sink or swim, Cole. It's tough love.
They are ready for battle. It's been hard to keep track of, but I do know that hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Except tonight, we've got two. This submission match is going to be spicy. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Ah, oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. Ooh, she just turned it around. No telling what she'll find under the ring here. She's got a chair, and her opponent is in her sights. Able to parry that one. Oh, and the chair projected right to their face. Ah, oh, took off the, uh, the hood of the announce table. Now there go the monitors. Sad intentions in mind here. Come on, Byron, get in front of me. No. Boom! Good night. This match is spilled out to the ringside area, and as we can see, tension's really running high. Probably clear the way, guys. Ooh, this is just getting uncomfortable at this point. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Big knee to the midsection. Baszler needs to head this attack off of the pass. Baszler's toughness needs to kick in here. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Oh, man. Squaring off right by our announce table. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Look at this. Boom. Nice. And she's really being knocked around here. Yeah, she has to start returning fire fast. She's starting to tire a little. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this, to keep fresh. Shayna showing her technique. No. Turning the tables there. And she had Baszler scouted. Oh my God. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Hooked in. Small package driver. Boom. Stark can't stop this string of offense. Yeah, now Stark's got to turn the momentum around. Got the arm. This is too close to the ropes. Yep, and the hold is broken. Beautiful. And she gets to the ropes. That's why always knowing where you are inside the ring is so important. Uh, quite that's a unique suplex. Wrist clutch suplex, perfect. Whip back into the ring. She gets it. Big elbow. And now she's demonstrated her whole arsenal. Yeah. Beautiful takedown into the Achilles lock. Crawling, scratching, doing whatever it takes. She will not let this match end. Oh, no. She could be caught here. Bad situation for her. Oh, man. There's nowhere for her to go. We're going to find an escape from the abdominal stretch. Uh-oh. Found it. Leave a mark. Pulling him in for the breaker. Right to the lower 
Back. And here we go. Locked in. It's locked in. Oh, look at this. Arm bar slipped underneath and able to counter. Oh, man. Kick to the face. She's enduring some damage. Down with a face buster. I don't know what they're looking for here. And as dangerous as she is, that kendo stick just made her even more so. She turns it right around with a counter. Big shot taken. That one's going to leave her well. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplied. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. Got the arm. Get to the ropes, forcing the break. A lot of damage done, but the ropes offer a reprieve. Constant pressure being kept on Zoe. Zoe has to wake herself up and turn her intensity up a notch. <laughs> Package driver. Oh, man. Got the arm. Disarmor. It's got to be over. Trap. To go. Taps out and gets the submission match win. Here are your winners, Rhea Ripley and the Superstar. This pairing paid strong dividends with an impressive tag team win. Each of these women could contend for a title alone, but together they may never lose a match. There she is, my favorite superstar! What now? First off, love this energy. Tough, no nonsense, brutal. It's working. Secondly, how would you feel if I said Minneapolis, money in the bank, you, Piper Niven, in the ring, making magic happen? What's the catch? No catch. I just think we should reward a superstar who has earned a big opportunity with the big stage. Then why are you sweating? Okay, fine. You want the truth? You terrify me. These days, whenever I'm within about 20 feet of you, I just naturally and instinctively clench. So I thought, maybe if you had a reason to like me, it would make it less likely that you'd take out all your inner turmoil on my outer face. Plus, you deserve it. Truly. So what do you think? Money in the bank? <laughs> I should have struck fear into your heart earlier. I want the match. Great. It'll be great. Cap is where it's at. So we're good, right? As long as you stop sniveling. I... will try. Hey, there she is. Uh, I, I want you to remember that I am just the messenger. 
Of what message? That, due to events outside of my control that had absolutely nothing to do with me, your match here at Money in the Bank has been canceled. Don't hurt me. Why wouldn't I? I came here to break Piper Niven in a match that you personally offered me. If I'm here, I'm breaking someone, Troy. Again, not my fault. Extenuating circumstances. Since we're in her hometown of Minneapolis, Molly Holly wants to have a comeback match tonight. We couldn't say no and had to bump another match from the show. It's really, when you think about it, a geographical Minneapolis problem. Which means if you're mad, it should only be at the Earth itself. Or Molly Holly. Yeah, sure. Her too. Definitely not Troy. Just remember that in a situation like this, my hands are tied. We've got a last minute change making a big night even bigger as Money in the Bank is also homecoming night here in Minneapolis for legend and three-time champion Molly Holly. Everyone loves a homecoming, everyone loves a comeback. And for these fans to get both those things in one, what the hell? What was that all about? Can we get some help out here? Don't you look awfully proud of yourself. I would have been happy to do my fighting in the ring. It wasn't my decision to take that option away. Ugh, this is exactly the kind of free-for-all indie nonsense I tried to beat out of you back in the PC. <laughs> Guess you're not as good of a mentor as you thought you were. Are you under the impression this attitude is going to help you? The only impression I'm under is that I deserve a seat at the table. And if WWE management wants to kowtow to some decrepit dinosaur parading around like she still has a place in the ring, I'm happy to show that dinosaur the door. I assure you, Molly Holly is very anxious to show you just how much of a place she still has in the ring. And despite my own history with her, so am I. Tell Molly. I'll happily ruin another one of her nights, anytime she wants. I'll let her know, and we'll see. Molly's a lot tougher when she knows you're coming. to leave a wake of pain and devastation. It's Pat. The phone. A Hall of 
of Famer and one of the trailblazers in the women's division. Molly Holly obviously looking for payback here. Cap deserves whatever she's got coming to her. The RKO out of nowhere was a cheap shot. Oh, uh, you're just upset because it happened right next to you. My life flashed before my eyes, Corey. Butterfly suplex. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Ooh, what a forearm club. Waist lock. No, no. Belly to belly. My goodness. Kick right to the midsection. How's that for a counter? Right to the gut. Uh, bionic elbow driven down. Molly caught by surprise. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. That attack probably reminded Molly of the hard-hitting Attitude Era matches she competed in. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Stomping. Ouch. Ah, and Molly Holly answers back. Compromised position here. Lands face first. She thinks she has it. Gets the shoulder up after one. Still in it. That's how you wear down your opponent. Might take her head clean off her shoulders. Molly looking mighty confident, not backing down from this fight. Oh! Oh! Ooh! Oh, a strong impact! Hooked up. Great power! Inverted suplex! Uh-oh. The cover. Oh, it turns it around and has the pin. She kicks out with a 40 after two. Somehow, somewhat. Take down, rolls through, shoulders down. Oh, this has got to be it. And she's not done yet. A truly impressive kick. Ah, oh, down. And she gets all her momentum stopped in a hurry. Suplex. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Power right out at one. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Holly's hopes are waning here. Yeah, Holly needs to plot a way to get back into this. She did her homework there. She's starting to look concerned. Typical gutsy offense from Molly. She had it scouted. Look at this. Snap suplex. And the ref stops the count. Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Upon counter, great minds thinking alike. Uh oh, Molly caught by surprise. Hooked up. Oh my god, a small package driver. Two count. She did it. She picked up. Here is your winner. Molly Holly on the losing end of this one. Holly tried her best, but just couldn't quite get it done. Tonight, I proved a point 
about who still has a place in WWE. Ever since I stepped foot here, I've been bombarded with endless praise for the so-called legends. We love them, we adore them, we hold banquets in their honor. <laughs> but at some point, every banquet has to end. And yet, there are some legends here in WWE who refuse to get up from the table. They finished their meal, had some dessert, polished off a cup of coffee or two, even paid the bill. Do they care that others are waiting for their chance to sit down? Do they care that the staff wants to leave? No. They just sit there, blissfully unaware of everything going on around them. These rotten relics don't even know. What the heck? Beth Phoenix couldn't stand any more of the disrespect. It looks like Beth wants to settle this right now. And we have a fight breaking out in the backstage area. Might as well warm up the ambulance siren now. These two are out to hurt each other. Oh. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. <laughs> Set up for the Russian leg sweep. Nicely done. Turned that one around. Caught with the elbow. And Beth with a counter. She turns it around on Phoenix. Big form. Double underhook applied. Butterfly suplex. Jeez. Oh God, right through the window. There's shattered glass everywhere. Well, she's reached the top, and I can't tell if she wants to run away or get dangerous. Get it done, get it done. Some mental chess from Beth Phoenix now. Where the heck is she going now? Finished her climb, but what happens now? And these areas are always off limits, guys. No one's supposed to be up there. I don't think they're reading the signs, Cole. They're too busy beating the tar out of one another. Stomping down. <laughs> Reversal. Can she capitalize? And gentlemen, I've seen a lot of movies with scenes on a catwalk. Spoiler alert, they usually end in catastrophe. Oh, this has gone too far. 
Oh, no! Oh, an air bar from up high! Looking to deal the most damage possible, no matter the cost and no matter how reckless. German suplexes. Well, she I can't walk. You gotta be kidding me. Might have gotten all of their opponent there, but it's still a rough landing on Kong. Going for it. Looking for the LaBelle lock. And now it looks like they're done. Done for now, but I have a feeling this isn't over, Cole. You just gotta help stir in the pot, can you? I'm just fighting for what's mine. That wasn't a criticism. Just remember, you're facing someone who's forgotten more about wrestling than half the Ross has ever known. Now that you've got her angry, make sure you finish the job. Not gonna be a problem. I'm gonna make her dream of retirement. Yeah. Show the glamour's on, it's time for her to get glamour gone. <laughs> Good one. And that's the plan. of pain and devastation. It's happening. Here comes a pure... Beth Phoenix has left a real mark on this industry, and I wouldn't be surprised if she used a table to leave a real mark on Cap's face. It Submission. I'm gonna tap out here, but it ain't gonna matter. You still do a lot of damage. Oh, backbreaker. That's a pretty unique move. Point of the elbow, nailed it. In the face. Ooh, she just turned it around. And she's stunned in the corner. She's taking this outside. This one cannot be lost. My cap. Now. Climbs back inside. Big boot. Jeez. Boom, what impact. Big right hand. She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Standing drop kick. Great ups. And now she's getting back into the ring. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Reigns. He's bringing the table into play. What more can these two superstars do to each other? Whatever it takes. Looking for the fast lane to the pay window. And the official calls it. Clearly, they cannot fight any longer. Here is like they say, what goes up must come down. And that was a long way down. And that table just disintegrated. They'll be picking splinters out for weeks. Beth Phoenix has risen from the ashes of defeat before, and I have a feeling she just might do so again. I'm in a bit of trouble. Think you could help me out? Is it something you should be talking to your parole officer about? <laughs> I'm kidding. Besides, I'm no snitch. What's up? Rio was going to have my back in my match with Johnny Gargano, but Mommy had some other business come up. Think you'd be able to be in my corner? Supporting you? I could, but I've also got a lot of respect for Rhea. I may call the shots around here, but Poppy doesn't cross boundaries like that. Don't make it weird. This was Rhea's idea. All right then, but you don't get it twisted. Just because I'm in your corner doesn't mean I'm gonna be doing the heavy lifting in your match. I understand. You better. I'm not kidding about this. You roll with me, I'm gonna make sure you don't embarrass us. Yes, sir. That's more like it. Placements go, you could do worse than the captain. Especially with the amount of intensity we've seen from Cap lately. I think Dominic is in good hands. Man. Right across the face. Oh, man. A running Hurricane Rana. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, bang. He heads outside, count outs legal in this match. Pow! Come on, let's go. Oh, God! Oh, he retaliates! Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Throw a drop kick. Oh, pressing their foot right into the gut. That's gotta hurt. Uh-oh. Looking for the quick pin. A oh, great counter to cover. A kick out after one. Trying to make short order of things there. <laughs> Not exactly an inspiring look for Johnny after that. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Brutality. Just never had a chance to block any of the... Gargano quickly reverses. Here comes the splash. 
and he hits the official. And it looks like his manager is wasting no time with a steel chair. He just barely dodges. What a counter. Oh, what a clothesline. Yeah. Well, that didn't go as Johnny designed. Taking this one back to the ring now. Left hook. Uh-oh. What an elbow drop. Here's the cover. Wasting no time getting his shoulder up. Still a ways to go in this match based on that. Turn your lights out. And guys, now I see blood on the face of Dominic. <laughs> Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. Pulls through. Uh oh, rolling kick by Gargano. Super kick! Gargano is wasting no motion. Yeah, Dominic needs to find an opening fast. Johnny anticipated that. Put down face first. Able to avoid there. Oh, great counter. Perfect position. Here we go. The 619. And you can see the excitement building in Dominic's eyes now. Will it be? Kick out at two. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. <laughs> Raw drop kick. Dominic going up high. We're in the high frog splash. But is that enough for Dominic? Makes the cover. It's over. Brutality. win for Dominic. Dominic was dead set on getting the W. They'll be telling tales about this one from Alcatraz to Guantanamo Bay. Oil. This is just like the fan fiction I wrote.
This is going to be like a double date gone haywire. I love it. I think Rhea Ripley would object to you saying that the captain and Dominic are on a double date. I don't know about everyone's personal lives. All I know is we're going to have two great teams in a great matchup. And now the tag resets the action as the men get set to do battle. Got a forearm. Chop. My goodness, did you hear that chop? Ooh. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Hurricanrana. Ooh, what a nasty kick. Just disrespectful. A shot like that to the ego can really shake you up mentally. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Yeah, even though he's still got a lot of fight in him, he might want to make a tag now and not risk further harm. Boom! Gets met with a face buster. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. And misses on the springboard. I'm not one to mince words or waste time getting to the point. Not when there's so much destruction and chaos to bring to WWE. I made an example out of my last victim and I'll make an example of anyone who stands in my way. Of anyone who stands in Papi's way. Because she's the daddy I never had. Thanks for taking care of my business while I was gone. Didn't I always tell you Dom was something special? Glad you two finally got a chance to work together. He was a bit of a brat, but uh, I understand what you see in him. I hope you know better than to take stock in what people are saying online. Of course I do. Besides, 
if you did want to take him off my hands, you're still in charge around here. I'm not someone who gets mad over something as silly as petty jealousy. Good. Then I'll expect you to be out there for my match against Caden Carter tonight. Delighted. I'll bring the chaos, Poppy. It's Cap here to unleash her wrath upon the ring. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from New York. Huh? Here comes Caden Carter has a tall order tonight, taking on the captain along with the returning Rhea Ripley on his side. Caden is an egg, and she is in a battle with the frying pan and the fire. So, Byron, in this breakfast analogy of yours, what does that make Dominic Mysterio? Um, the fork? Sorry, I thought that went all the way through. Ooh, well planted knee. Ouch. Counter from Carter. Oh, now she's looking to apply the pressure with this submission maneuver. Oh, Black Widow. Locked in tight. I don't know what choice she has. Almost a miraculous escape and a side slam. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Oh, knee, knee, back of neck. And momentum is slipping away from Carter. Yeah, Caden needs to rethink her strategy fast. Suplex brings them down. Unleashed on the knee, and that might drastically slow things down. Cutting her off there, smart strategy. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Hard Irish whip into the corner. Bobby is certainly teaching Caden Carter a lesson she'll never forget. Officials separating them here. Vicious hey, shot to the throat. Go. Hold on, it looks like Rhea Ripley's got some brass knuckles and the referee has no idea. No question as to whether this superstar will resort to cheating. What? Mommy just attacked Poppy? Maybe Rhea didn't like Dom getting so close to her ally. And now she's showing her what true brutality looks like. Repeated kicks to the so-called Poppy. Speaking of Dom, I don't think he likes seeing Mommy and Poppy fighting. I'm not sure if Dominic can stop Rhea Ripley if she has a score to settle here. Apparently Dom has no intention of stopping her. And Rhea's reclaiming her status as the alpha in this relationship. She just took her head with those brass knuckles. I don't think we'll be seeing Dominic or Rhea in Cap's corner anytime soon. Well, this was a tenuous relationship from the start that was bound to blow up sooner than later. Once again, the age-old question has been answered. Who gets custody of Dominic Mysterio? And this time, the answer, Rhea Ripley.
So, how's it going? Didn't really expect to run into you here. Was kind of just planning on waiting for my flight, and listening to my book on tape. I know I haven't been in touch lately. Yep, that's definitely what's making this awkward. Not how mean and brutal you've been. But did you see what Rhea did to me? Can you believe that? I do follow the product, and yes. But did you really expect to steal Dom without any consequences? I didn't steal anyone. Do you have any idea what it's like to have someone you trust betray you? You mean kind of like you did with Psycho Sally? <laughs> That's not my point. Or that rookie Carly Prime? <sighs> not helping. Or literally anyone you've come into contact with recently? I know you've got these big-time issues against WWE management, but you should really stop and look at what you've become. Someone with striking fashion sense? You know there are more colors than black, right? Black's not technically a color. Not my point. I know it's not. I'm attempting to defuse the situation. <sighs> Honestly, you could stand to defuse this whole situation. Brutality has a time and place, but maybe it's not all the time and everywhere. It's possible you have a point. But I also can't let Rhea's betrayal stand. Well, I guess you don't have to drop the brutality right away. After all, sometimes soul-searching takes time. You might not find anything in that dark soul of yours until after you take care of Rhea Ripley. I don't think I will. Mommy's walking solo tonight. But Poppy not letting her go without a fight. These two are going to tear each other apart. When the action takes place behind the scenes, anything goes. Forklifts, lockers, chairs, tables, broken windows. We've seen it all over the years. We've definitely seen a lot, Michael Cole, but when it comes to these two, we ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, I just hope they stay away from my rental car. You should have ponied up for the insurance, you cheapskate. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Ripley gets her back. Able to prevent Rhea's attack. Oh, God. Big forearm. Counter. And now there's an opening. Snap suplex. Got the full Nelson. Oh! Ah! Northern Lights suplex. Now, laser focused on the temple and back of the neck. Has him up for the power slam. Counted into an inverted DDT. Big form. Oh, did you hear that? Thunderous Club comes down. Very effective. Stops the kick. Oh, elbow to the knee. That'll hyper extend your leg. She returns the favor there. Uh-oh. Answered with a shot right to the face. Wrenches the arm. Ooh, nasty kick. Firm control. And a big oh. boot! Oh, oh, man. There's return fire on Rhea.
Looks like they're taking this brawl upstairs as quickly as possible. And the elevator has brought them high atop the backstage area. No room for error when you're surrounded by all this steel and concrete. We're gonna see it. What power. Nice it out. Power bomb. And I just cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. I know there was a lot of disdain between these two, but there has to be a better solution. Oh, man. My goodness. Hitting so hard that the bolts just bursted off the railing. Oh, to the arm. Terrible. And we know the backstory coming in. We knew this was going to be unpredictable, but did you ever expect this? Michael, this is not what anybody envisioned. No one could picture this fight going where it's gone. Waistlock go behind. Up and over with a German suplex. We're not finished yet. Another one. Oh, come on. Enough is enough. A trio of wicked German suplexes. Going for it. Looking for the label lock. Got the cross face locked in. A submission that immediately disorients the victim. She's trying to get out, try to, to break this hold. Uh, it does. <laughs> Caught with a clothesline. These platforms are strictly meant for loading and maintenance. You need professional clearance to be up there. No, I don't think they care about any clearance. When there's this much animosity, you'll take every opportunity to punch your enemy in the face, no matter what the location. Expected that one. Belly to belly. Oh, that was impressive. This is insane. Where are these two superstars going to go next? With these two, it looks like nowhere is off limits. <laughs> well placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Looking to put an end to this. Snap, pile driver. And the only limit these superstars have on this catwalk is their twisted imaginations. Then a thunderous forearm to follow. Again, the torso is punished. The core of the entire anatomy could dramatically slow your movement down. Ripley, the prison trap. The prison trap is in. Well, this won't win the match, but it's... She's tapping, she's tapping, but it doesn't matter at all in this situation. Well-scattered reversal there. Ooh. 
Scary pattern starting to form as that upper area takes more damage. That's a few times now she's taken a hit up in that region. Well delivered suplex. And I don't know what's going through these superstars' mind. Aren't they aware of the dangers up there? I think they're blinded by adrenaline at this point, Michael. We are European uppercut. Ripley is square in her sights, extremely vulnerable. Going for it. Looking for the label lock. Oh, it's locked in, the cross face. Well, this isn't gonna win the fall, but it's gonna do a lot of damage. And she's tapping, but it doesn't even matter. It can't save her here. Well scouted by Ripley. Going counter for counter. Now can it be capitalized on? A fall from this height could be catastrophic. No way. That was brutal, but it looks like this brawl's over now. Now can we get some help back there, please? Here's the captain walking in and hoping to be walking out. Making her way to the ring. This is what you challenge Rhea Ripley is here. The following contest is an ambulance match. There are no pinfalls, submissions, disqualifications, or countouts. The only way to win is for a superstar to force their opponent into the ambulance by any means necessary. After closing both doors, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner. Now, let the match be It's going to be brutal. It's going to be intense. It's going to be a classic, Cole. Two of the most physical phenoms in the women's division are going to settle their very personal issue. A matchup this heated couldn't just end with a simple pinfall or submission, but it will all end here tonight. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Boom! And it looks like she wants to take this match outside. Oh, what a four! Oh boy, foreboding message here, opening those doors. Every maneuver being returned with counter fire. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. She's clutching a bat. What, is there a sporting good store over there? Discouraging results for Ripley right here. Ripley has to stop struggling. Being put into a perilous position here after each of these vicious attacks. She flips it back on her.
reversal. Climbing up to the top of the ambulance. No good to come from this. Now she's up that ladder on the roof of the ambulance. Climbing the ambulance. What is she thinking? She made it to the top. No. No, 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 no. You gotta be kidding me. To risk destroying yourself, to destroy your opponent is the rage. But it might be what's needed to get them into the ambulance. Ambulance doors are open. Gotta wake up now before it's too late. Oh, the ambulance door right into the side of the body. Danger here now. You don't want to be near the ambulance looking like this. Look at the struggle just to shut that first door. Oh, what a powerhouse collision here. First door shut. Needs one more. Just close the second. This battle rolls on. Great response to Ripley there. Not the position you want to be in right now. Gets slammed down. And Rhea feeling the brunt of yet another attack there. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Waist lock go behind. Up and over with a German suplex. We're not finished yet. Another one. Oh, come on. Enough is enough. They're continuing to punish their opponent with a German. Our ringer applied. Top wrist lock. Opponent down to one knee. Ooh, and a shot to the body and another. Oh, a blow to the bread basket. She's getting something from under the ring. If you're looking to cause quick, sharp damage, you can't go wrong with the kendo stick. Oh, oh any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. Being dragged and mangled all the way to the back doors of the ambulance. Trying to at least slam one door shut. Halfway to victory. Just has to make sure to get the other door locked. Oh, I'm trying to close. Forcing their way out of the ambulance. Stopped dead in their tracks with a shot to the face. Oh, God. Oh, well scouted by Ripley. Oh. Oh, she responds with a counter. Oh. Closing the ambulance doors, perhaps as a precaution. Opening the ambulance doors. We know what's going through this competitor's mind. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. I have a feeling she has bad intentions for that chair. What a shot. Straight brutality coming right at you. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. Ooh. Kick to the gut. Ripley has things right where she wants them. Here we go. Time. She's on life support after that. Just got to stuff her in the ambulance now.
I don't know what they're looking for here. You know, I've always been curious about the versatility of shovels. She was clearly waiting for that. Oh, man. Clock with that shovel. Oh, and each of these lethal maneuvers have got to be taking a toll. Oh. Way to steer clear. She avoids the attack completely. Oh, driving the elbow. And it's another attack above the shoulders. Got to protect that region or the lights can go. Going for it. Looking for the LaBelle lock. Locked in. Locked in. Tremendous torque. Bing. Critical time here. Can they get out? Are they going to tap? Can they break this? Hold it. They do. Devastating elbow. Interesting choice to close the ambulance doors. Must be a defensive strategy. Getting those doors open. Thoughts of winning are popping into this combatant's head. Waist lock. No, no. Belly to belly. My goodness. Ripley is square in her sights. Extremely vulnerable. Oh, nice takedown. They're going to lock it in. Oh, oh, oh. She's trying to ask for mercy, but not even tapping out can help her. Oh, no. Getting dragged to the edge of the ambulance. This is a hell of a struggle. Just trying to close one. One door is shot. We could be looking at the end here. Pushing with everything they've got. Come on, shut the thing, win the thing, come on. And boom, the door shut and there's the win. What a grueling battle. Here is your winner. The Superstar. Happy to avoid the ambulance ride tonight. Such a display of brutality. I'm actually relieved to see medical attention being available after what we just witnessed.